Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be cash stuffing for the last week of April. How are you all doing? I've had such a busy and very, very spendy week, but we're going to get into it. I've barely been home. Um, I got back yesterday. I have some stories. I have some stories to tell you um, if you're interested. So um, in today's video, I'm going to be cash stuffing £425. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 95, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. So £425 last week of April, everyone. Oh, I've got no 50s today, have I? Mm. Um, so yeah, I was away with work last week between Monday and the early hours of Friday. I was in Vienna. Very lucky, very lucky. I was in Vienna. It was absolutely beautiful, beautiful city. Um, spent way more money than I planned to. Um, and I'll get into why uh, as we go through the video. And then I had, um, I got back at like, 1.30 a.m. on Friday morning and then I was up and into the lodge with my friends so I got back yesterday and now I'm I'm done I'm done um I've got to go to London as well like today or tomorrow what am I doing tomorrow uh right so first job is what do I have left over from the last week so I think we're going to finish budget with Ira today in fact I know we are because I need six pound and I've got one, two, three, four, five, whoops, six, seven. I've got two fifties. This is an Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton one, but I've got it. So I'm going to stuff that. Two fifties or no, three fifties and just 40 P for you, son. Sorry. So it is what it is. Awesome. Okay. Nothing in groceries. <laughs> Still haven't filled up. Oh no. Yeah. I haven't filled up. Uh, nothing in spending. And then I've got three fives for the five pound challenge later on. All right, so let's restuff this. Um, groceries is going to get 50, 20, 40 and 50. So I've got, what, what month are we in April? So 30 days in April, isn't it? So I've got eight days until I can restuff. That's fine. Fuel I'm going to skip, but spending is going to get... 35 and we'll do the infinity challenge from budget with ira it's my favorite challenge i was on this 20 last week so i'll roll this dice and whenever i land on that money will go towards an envelope in roll with it later on and no i haven't redesigned roll with it we're just gonna have to roll with it plus one so i go this way oh five that's good so five pounds will go towards a challenge later which gives me £30. I'm trying to think. Um, I've got nothing planned next weekend, thankfully. So, um, yeah, so 30 quid for spending. All right, so that's all the cash wallets restuffed. So, we'll start with my essentials binder here. Um, so, yeah, Vienna was lovely. I've never been to Vienna. Um, it was a conference, and I just didn't expect it to be as social as it ended up being. So, I've spent money. I've had to use some of my buffers. So, I'm going to get into that. Um, so Vienna was lovely, conference was fine. And then I had a night, an all day, cause I wasn't flying until like 8 p.m. the next day to myself. So um, <laughs> I had a look and I was like, well, I'm in Vienna, I need to go and see an opera. So I had a look and the opera was sold out. But around the corner, there's a venue that does a Mozart rendition where they wear like all of the 18th century wigs and, and dresses and stuff. So I was like, oh, I really wanna go and see that. Could I hell get anyone to come with us? <laughs> obviously. So I um, I went on my own and I went in and I was like, oh, can I buy one ticket? And she was like, oh, we're not open yet. Come back. So I went and got some food, came back. And I think she was surprised that I'd returned. So anyway, I said, oh, can I have one ticket? And um, she went, what kind of ticket do you want? And she she showed me the like floor plan of the of the venue. And I was like, oh, just whatever's the cheapest. And I think she took complete pity on me, right? Because she gave me the most expensive seat. She went, what about that one there? And it was like near the front. She gave me the most expensive seat and I only paid 59 euro and it was a 125 euro ticket. So I was like, oh my God, thank you. I think she just felt sorry for us being on my own. Um, so I spent that. Um, and then the next day I went to the Belvedere houses, the mansions to the, um, 
the art galleries and saw the Klimt kiss um, and the other paintings and I spent a lot of money in the souvenir shop and I just spent money as you do when you travel so I've had to use some buffer I will get into that um, and then I've got a story about us coming home right so anyway we'll start we will start stuffing some envelopes home this week is going to get 10 pounds so I now have 200 350 pounds in the bank for home and then 370 380 390 400 5 and 10 so oh 350 70 80 90 400 5 and 10 that's 410 i don't know why i said i put five in when i put 10 in never mind we can just do a little that'll do 410 is in home and then household is next, and household is gonna get five. So 50 in the bank, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, and 120 in household. And then home maintenance is gonna get 10. So I have 100 pounds in the bank, and then 120, 130, and 140 in home maintenance. I'm gonna skip appliances, it's got 130. I do wanna get an air fryer. I think you guys have convinced us, me family and friends, when I was away with them, they convinced us it's the best thing to buy ever. So naturally I want the Double Ninja one, don't I? I had a look on Amazon, I was like, wait, which one do I want? Just for me, a single person on their own who hardly ever cooks because they're away all the time. Let's get the really fancy Gucci Double Ninja one. I mean, I don't need it. I might not get that one. But I'm going to think about it. It's £200, so I would need to build it up. And in that time, I'll think, is that really what I need? I just like the two draw situation. What would you What would you think? What do you think? Let us know. But what convinced us is we went for... So I got home from the lodge, went straight to my parents for Sunday dinner. And uh, my sister had cooked a whole pork joint in our air fryer. And it was the best crackling I've ever had. And crackling for me, it's like crack. Whoever takes crack out there, don't suppose any of you guys, but you know what? Flippin' heck, addictive. So um, I need to get an air fryer just for the pork. So garden is getting skipped, but Kingston is gonna get five. And I'm gonna sort out Kingston because I wanna add more to it from tax in a second. So at the minute it's got 20, 40, 5, 55. So we'll color in one. T-Rex and then I'm good but I'm gonna go to tax and sort this out because my um, my check has, has landed on the account um, and it's now fully funded I'll color this in off camera um, but I, I only need to add five so basically there's 185 pound now in my stolen pot so I want to make it 190, so I'm just going to take this 20 out and put this 5 in. So I'll sort this out later on, but that'll be done, car tax. And then, so technically I'm adding another 15 into Kingston. So 20, 40, 65, 70. So another 15 into Kingston. So I'll colour in another three of these. One, two and three three which means there's only 20 pound to go for this so i want to get this done soon one two three four 20 pound to go for kingston and next we'll do insurance so this is car and home insurance it's going to get 20 so i have 500 700 in the bank and then 7 20 40 60 and 80 20 pound to go <gasps> so 20 quid to go for both kingston and insurance and they'll both be done so this one's due in september and Kingston is like the turn of the year in January. So that's really good. And I can put this money that I'm need stuffing into other categories. So that's excellent. Okay, cool. Um, and then we have car maintenance, which is gonna get five. So 50 in the bank, 60, 75 in car maintenance. Miscellaneous, I'm skipping, it's got 20. Emergency fund has 2,100 and buffer. Right, so 
I've had to use money from my buffer in my binder, the hundred pound in there, and then I'm taking a hundred pounds out of this buffer. So um, basically it was all of the Mozart stuff. It was all of the, the mansions. Um, and so work only really pay for, for my meals. If I need to get a coffee or obviously get an alcoholic drink or the rest of it, I'll pay for all of that myself, which is totally fine, obviously. So um, I have had to take some money out here. I think I bought something in the airport as well. I can't remember what, but I do have an airport story. Um, right, so we'll swap one of these for a 100. So I now have 300 pounds in my essentials buffer. And what this taught me is that I do need to build these buffers up, especially the one in my binder. I've left it at 100 for so long. I want to build it up. So I'm bringing back build a buffer. One of my other favorite challenges ever from Carol Cash. So I'll show you it a bit later on, but I'm going to bring that back. Um, I'm not stuffing it today, but we'll stuff it in the future. Lovely. Right. So that is it for essentials. Okay. So next up, we're going to do my binder. Starting with Hair and Beauty, which is going to get 20. So Hair and Beauty now has 100 pounds in the bank and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 210. 210. I think, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So when I was away with my friends in the lodge, one of the reasons I had not very much money is I used to really love buying like really decent, expensive skincare. Um, I'm not talking about ones for like celebrities. I can't afford that. I, meant, I mean, just like Elemis, which is very pricey, it is. And there was one of my friends there and she had um, a load of Elemis skincare and I saw I was trying it all. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I miss buying stuff. And as I get older, obviously I've got major beauty, but I do think I should probably get better skincare than, and Aldi's fine, it is, but I've been using Aldi skincare now since, pretty much since I've been cash stuffing, so two years. And sometimes it just, it doesn't cut it for us. I want something that feels a bit more luxurious and actually a bit more of a routine that um, feels like it's doing something more preventative um, than what Aldi can do for my skin. So I had a, I priced up what I tried by my friend. My God, it is so, it is really expensive. But I might add in a skincare envelope. I don't know. And just start building it up and and, and try and um, and try and buy nice cream and nice cleanser and stuff in the future and just see what difference it makes to my skin. So I think that's what I'm going to do. If I can fit it into my budget, I'm going to make a skincare envelope. So it, it is classed as hair and beauty, I suppose, but I'm, I might do it as a separate envelope. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Right, Major Beauty is going to get five so i have 50 in the bank 70 85 95 in major beauty clothes is going to get 10. so i have 200 in the bank 20 30 and 40 in clothes uh looks is going to get five I suppose I could use some of Lux for skincare, but in my head, this is like a pair of shoes or something or a handbag. Don't know. 250 in the bank, 70, 85, 95. 295 in Lux. Uh, books is gonna get five. So 20, 35 and 40 in books. And then health is gonna get five. So 150 in the bank, 170, 85 and 90. 190 in health. Social, oh, it's gonna get five. Uh, fun is gonna get skipped, it's got 25 or something like that. Uh, but gifts is gonna get five. So 10, 15, 25 in gifts. Next one for this will be Father's Day. Tech I'm skipping and Buffer does not have £100, unfortunately. And do you know what? If I hadn't cash stuffed, that money would have gone on a credit card. To go and see the Mozart thing, to go to the museums, um, yeah, it would have. So this is good. This is why it works. You can pull money from places and hopefully it won't have a huge impact on, on, your, on your binders. So yeah, that's what I did. All right, so let's move on. 
All right, so next up we are going to do birthdays. Uh, Hermione here has 60, Minerva has 100, and we're working on Lily, and she's getting 20. So Lily now has 30. So that's birthdays done. And next we're gonna go into my travel binder, and guys, this is very exciting. What I'm about to do. I just thought, screw it, we're doing it. We're gonna start with the Western Balkans. So airport, park and flights and insurance are all paid. Hire car has 500 and hotels has 1,667. Spending money is gonna get 80 pounds, 20, 40, 60, 80. So in spending money, I now have 500, 700, 800 pounds in the bank. 8, 50, 70, 90, 910, 930, 50, 70, 80, 90, and 1,000 pounds. Oh, yes. So we have 3,167 pounds in Western Balkans and I've finally finished spending money. I mean, we're going in five weeks. So I've got five weeks to save for clothes and airport spending. So, oh, so pleased, so pleased. Right, East Asia is gonna get 50. And we're still doing the tracker for this one. So one aeroplane for 50 pounds. So main flights are paid and Exodus is getting the 50. So 20, 40 and 50. So in Exodus, I've got 2,200, 2,250, 350, 70, 90, 400, 10, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yay! 2,450, that is Exodus also done. Oh, brilliant. Um, so next up, I'll work on Thai flights, Thai hotel, and then we've got spend money clothes in airport. So I can't wait to put those two in the bank at the end of the month in my condensing. Brilliant, absolutely over the moon with that. And then short trips is last. So Lodge is now finished. So we can take these out. We'll probably will go back to this Lodge um, a lot. So they might return at some point, but for now we're just left with future trips here. Um, it's not actually getting anything today, but I've got 20, 30, 45 and that'll be Glasgow in December. So, yep, so that is it for the travel binder. Okay, next we're gonna do savings challenges, starting with the Christmas binder. Um, so me airport story really quickly, um, when I was coming back, cause it's never easy to get to anywhere from Newcastle, you've often got to have a connection flight. So on the way out, I went via Dusseldorf, but on the way back, I went via uh, Amsterdam. And um, it's funny because we're not part of the EU anymore and we're not part of Schengen. When I landed in Dusseldorf, I had to enter Germany and get my passport stamped. But then when I got to um, Vienna, I didn't even show my passport to anyone. Nobody even looked at it. I didn't even get it out of the bag. So that was really weird. So anyway, on the way back, um, I wondered if I had to do the same in Amsterdam. So when I was coming home, I had a connecting time between flights of 50 minutes. So I already knew it was tight, right? And um, we were delayed by 25 minutes. And when you land at Skipple Airport, I don't know if anyone's been, it, like you're literally taxiing to park up for like 10 minutes. So I was sat on the plane and I was at the back and they were over the tannoy going, if anyone's on the Newcastle connection, make sure you get off quickly. You, you might make it. All this, like, you might make it. And I'm sitting there thinking, what do you mean you might make it? So in the end, I was at the back and you know how people fanny about getting their bags out with a flipping hold and everything, uh, of the overhead thing. In the end, I was panicking so much. I had 10 minutes to get to me flight. I started shouting, is anyone on a connection flight? And all around me, they said no. So I just flipped and elbowed them out the way. I was like, you need to let me off, you need to let me off. So anyway, I got off the plane 
and I have never sprinted so fast in my life. I could see the Newcastle plane from my plane. Oh, but no, you couldn't just go to that gate. I had to run through the airport, find where I had to get my passport stamped and then run back to the plane. And I had like five minutes. I've never been that out of breath for years and years and years. Um, so anyway, I was pushing past people. I was a right knob and I was running past everyone thinking, I am not missing this flight. I'm not missing this flight. So um, I eventually got to the plane. I was last on board or so I thought. Sat down in just a random seat because I was at the back again and I was absolutely knackered. And then literally 10 minutes later, I just got my breath back and this couple just sauntered up and went, oh, I think you're in our seat. And I looked at them and went, oh, right, okay. I said, sorry, I just, I thought I was the last on. Um, I thought we would have left by now. And they went, oh yeah, we saw you run past us. <laughs> I thought, you knobs. So they were just sauntering through like now it was the bother. And here's me thinking I'm holding up a flipping whole flight. So I've learnt my lesson there, right? Don't panic. Um, anyway, lo and behold, gets to Newcastle. And of course, my case hadn't followed me on that epic sprint. So it wasn't there. And it had everything in it I needed for the lodge. So that was also interesting. Right, Christmas is getting 15. Sorry, I'm, I'm on one today, aren't I? Shut up, shut up. But what was lucky is one of my friends who was coming to the lodge lives in Dublin. So I was picking her up at the airport anyway to go to the lodge. So she got me case for us because it came the next morning. So that actually worked out really well. But it has taught me, I think I need to get an air tag. And it's not you could, like you can do anything about where your case is, but at least you know where your case is. So I might get an air tag for when I travel again. Um, God, I'm exhausted now just from talking. Right, next is mortgage. This is to pay over payments on my mortgage. This is the Enchanted Binder. Um, that I'm going to restock my Etsy shop tomorrow, uh, sorry, Wednesday evening when I'm back from London. Wednesday evening, <clears throat> I'll restock my Etsy shop. It'll be quite a big restock because I haven't restocked in a long time. So if you fancy a binder, they will be back on and I'll, as usual, update my Instagram stories when they're up. I can't give a time. I did that in the past and it was, it was terrible <laughs> experience but it's usually around like 7-ish p.m. that I'll restock. So what am I doing, 20? Here we go, so 20 pound into mortgage. And then we've got the 10K challenge, the 10K beast. Uh, right, and today I'm adding 10 into this round of 200. So we have 20, 30, 45, 55, and 60. So this is the envelope at the front here um, to get you to the, it's the only way I could think of to make this binder work was to do a mini challenge at the start to then get you up to the 200. Otherwise it would just, it would be a bit more of a slog. So this is what I came up with for this. So there we go, you get your extra envelope at the front here. So we've got 1200 in the bank and then 60. So that's that one done. And now for the rest of my savings challenges in here, we are going to start with Sparks of Joy. Where are you? There you are. Uh, today it's going to get 10. So Sparks of Joy has £200 in the bank and then 20, 30, 45 and 50. Halfway. We're halfway. Hey, we're hitting some milestones today. Brilliant. 250. So I mean, some of this could go towards skincare, I suppose, because I want to buy that world map, which I think is about 200. It goes up and down in price whenever I look at it on Etsy. Um, it's made in the Ukraine, actually, and it goes up and down in price. So maybe whatever's left in here could go towards skincare. I don't know. Right. Mind your business is next. And it's going to get five. So 20, 45, 55, and 60. So let's do the string of pearls here for five. And we've just got three left. And I do think I'll put this 75 pound towards airport spending. So I've got, yeah, so I've got 15 to go for this one. <clears throat> and I could get some bargains there, couldn't I? So here she's back, she's back. 
I love this challenge so much, build a buffer. I've just cleaned it and I've, the pen's bled at the bottom, but it, hopefully it'll just dry out. Um, so this is from Carol Cash. I love her stuff. It is so simple, but so satisfying. When I used this challenge, it felt so easy to save this way. I just loved it so much. Um, so what I'm gonna do, so this saves 500. So I've now got 300 in essentials buffer and 100 in my buffer. So I wanna build up, so this will save another 400. So I think I'll do this again and just split the money between the two buffers and just build up the, the one in my binder a bit further. So we'll start that again at some point. And then we've got celebration. from Abundant Budgets, and it's gonna get five. So five, 10, 15, 20 is now in celebration. And this is to save money for my two friends who I travel with for their birthdays. Uh, and then Leo is next, and that's also gonna get five. So 20, 40, 50, 5 and 60 now in Leo. And I'm colouring a 5. There's one here. So we're left with 25, 35, 40 quid left in Leo. All right. And then we've got Word Wonga. Thank you again to everyone who um, messaged me with words. I've only got a fiver this week, so I'm only going to do one, and I'm going to do um, mouse here. So how am I going to do this? Should I just colour over it? Could do. So let's do mouse. This is a really fun challenge. I love it. Awesome, there's another one done. And let's put the five pound in. So it now has 10, 25, 35 in Word Wonga. I don't know what this will go towards actually when I've done it. Not sure. Uh, okay, then we've got Roll With It. So it's five pound from the Infinity Challenge. So we'll roll this 10 sided dice and whatever it lands on will go towards that envelope. Unless it lands on home, I think I'll put that somewhere else. So, come on, not home. Something good, something good. Number seven is Christmas. Oh, I don't know if I've got any guys left. Oh, I do, I do, I do. Okay, cool, Christmas it is. Very good, I'm happy about that. So let's find that five. Lovely. So I wanted to do this for the first time by the end of May. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. Hmm. <laughs> right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Okay. And then we've got the five pound challenge. And this week it's getting three fives. Shall we have a little look, see how we're getting on? So we're at the end of April, so that's the first four months done. And this is what we're looking like. Not bad, eh? Not bad. All right, so that's a five pound challenge. And then we've got Ira. Oh, guys, it's the end of an era. It's the end of an era. <laughs> that, that's what Esther and my money man has put. And I think someone else made the same comment. You are funny. Um, it is the end of an era because we're, we're, we're done, we're done. Um, so I only need six pounds, but I've got seven. So let's put that in. We'll just put it all in because I don't know what to do next. I do have another little Ira book. Uh, oh, I've just been looking at it and I, don't, I can't see it now. I might do that one. I kind of want to do another Ira channel challenge for my coins. Um, I've just loved this one so much. Ira, you are so like creative and unique and you know you never you never copy off anyone and out like that you come up with your own stuff it's always dead vibrant and eye-catching and I, I just think you're great 
Thank you for helping me save all of my pound coins for literally a year and a half this has taken me and we're finally done. I'm not doing that one. Um, so here we go, let's have a flick through. So we did floaty at the very start. I made those two pound each because I had a load of two pound coins. I can't remember why, <laughs> I don't know. Then we did save Doku. God, I struggled with that. I needed help. IRM self had to help me because uh, I was like, I'm not very good at this. Um, then we did cocktails and then we did cue ball. Then donuts and ice cream, which you can kind of not see anymore. Then we, <laughs> then we did drawing and I wasn't very good at drawing. So I thought I'll draw something from my week. So that was when I came back from Jordan and I'd been on a camel. So I thought I'd draw a camel. I, had, I think we had a barbecue one weekend. That was David Bowie for some reason. I went to the Houses of Parliament one day. That was just because it's every day. Um, Wimbledon was on someone's birthday. I had a fry up. I had me major beauty. I had Bruno for a night or two. I had him now. And then was I in Cardiff? No, Liverpool. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to everyone in Liverpool and Cardiff. Yeah. Um, and then we've done words before. God, I've got no memory of this. Then we coloured in. Then we did the weather. Then we did blocks. And then we did pizza. Then we did Christmas. And then we've done space. It's all done. So I'll um, see if there's enough in here to condense into a bag for the last time for Ira, and then this will be redistributed in my condensing video. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, cool. So 50 P's, there's three of them. Going in, I think I can do this one again, actually. That's good. So 350 P's, oh God, uh, going in. One, two, three. And then, uh, Errol, it's, it's a, a slim week for you am i doing just 40 pence just 40 pence so the 40 is free it's right in the middle so listen thank you so much for watching another really chatty and probably highly annoying cash stuffing video from me um normally i've got no pattern and that's because i don't do anything so when i do actually venture out i tend to um do things that i don't know maybe i need therapy or something so yeah, thank you very much for listening to me. I'll be back probably with a side hustle because I'm going to restock on Wednesday night and then I might request the funds early from it and do a side hustle cash stuffing and then I'll do my end of month close out uh, condensing uh, and we'll be ready to go for me. So thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.